Hello everyone, it's Dylan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. So we got some awesome new Yu-Gi-Oh! Moto retrained cards uh, revealed in the upcoming set Legacy of Destruction and in this video I am going to be going over all of those cards and going over some really cool anime references and just symbolic meanings of these cards and if you are a fan of Little Yugi, if you are a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters, all of these cards are probably going to ring a familiar bell because again they are all based off of cards or monster effects that Yugi Moto used in his duels against Yami Bakura and in his duel against Atem, the final ceremonial duel of Duel Monsters. At least that's kind of what I'm gathering from this. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The cover card of Legacy of Destruction is a new Gandora monster called Geos Gandora, the Dragon of Destruction. Obviously, the original counterpart of this is Gandora, the Dragon of Destruction, which was used against Yami Bakura. It's a retrained counterpart of that monster. And another really cool thing here is the monster's name may be based on Final Geos, which was a trap card that Yugi Moto used in Dark Side of Dimensions. Remember, Gandora X, the Dragon of Demolition, was destroyed by Deep Eye's White Dragon, um, which in turn allowed Yugi to use Final Geos. So, could even be a reference to that, which is really, really cool. And then, of course, the monster's effect allows you to special summon a level 7 or lower monster. And remember, at the end of Yugi's duel against Yami Bakura, when Gandora the Dragon of Destruction destroyed all monsters on the field, it activated the effect of Spirit Sword of Sealing to return Silent Swordsman level 7 to the field. And this monster allows you to special summon a level 7 or lower monster. So, really, really cool. And also, all of these monsters, all of these cards are going to be based around Gold Sarcophagus of Light, which is a new spell card that we are getting. Um, so again, if you control Gold Sarcophagus of Light, you can special summon this card, gains 300 attack, pay off your life points, destroy as many other cards on the field as possible, and if you do, banish them. Um, so what's interesting about that is this Gandora does not actually destroy itself like the other one does. At least that's what I reckon because it says as many other cards on the field. Um, but really, really cool monster there. Looks amazing. Love the way Gandora looks. And the fact that we're getting another one is really cool. And of course, it wouldn't be Yugi Moto cards without Silent Swordsmen's and Silent Magicians. We are getting Silent Swordsman Zero and Silent Magician Zero. Now, both of these cards give your Gold Sarcophagus of Light spell card some protection. Silent Swordsman Zero says when your opponent activates a card or effect... Um, that targets Gold Sarcophagus of Light or a monster that mentions it, you can negate the activation. And if you do increase this card's level by one, Silent Magician Zero, when your opponent activates a spell card or effect and you control Gold Sarcophagus of Light, you can negate the activation. And if you do, increase this card's level by one. These monsters are, of course, retrains of Silent Swordsman Level Zero and Silent Magician Level Zero. And they look like babies or, you know, youth monsters studying to uh you know be better be bigger and we know they can be bigger when you see those level seven versions of them so that's cool and then of course another staple of yugi moto the gadgets green gadget red gadget yellow gadget here we're getting tricolor gadget this monster allows you to add gold sarcophagus of light or a spell or trap that mentions it when it's normal or special summoned and what's really cool about this monster obviously you have all the gadgets on the artwork but if you add up the attack and defense of each gadget you get 3900 attack 3300 defense and then if you just take the average of that if you cut it in third which of course there's three gadgets you get 1300 attack and 1100 defense and that is the stat line of tricolor gadget so a really cool cheeky stat line there that does pay reference to the three gadgets that are part of this monster another staple of yugi's deck marshmallow i mean it's a freaking awesome card what what more to ask for it's just a marshmallow on a card well now we're getting mashi marshmallow which uh is really cool because it's wearing the marshmallow glasses uh which is a spell card support for marshmallow so that is kind of what's being depicted here in the artwork <laughs> which is really, really cool. Um, and if you control Gold Sarcophagus of Light, you can special summon this card from your hand during your opponent's turn. While you can 
control gold sarcophagus. This card cannot be destroyed by battle, and your opponent's monsters cannot target other monsters for attack. So that's pretty annoying. This card does have a good amount of resilience. We saw that with its effect in the anime, so I'm happy that it's carrying over that effect. And then if this card is destroyed by card effect, you can special summon one of your other Mashi Marshmallow that is banished or in your hand, deck, or graveyard. And if you do, inflict 1,000 damage to your opponent. So this little guy is going to be a pesky out for your opponent. Really, really love that. And then we're getting to the, the centerpiece, ladies and gentlemen. Gold Sarcophagus of Light. Continuous spell cannot be destroyed by monster effects, so you get that protection right off the bat. Your opponent's got to get this out with either a spell or a trap card. And, of course, your Silent Magician Zero and Silent Swordsman Zero can give added protection to this card to make it really tough for your opponent to get rid of it. During your main phase, you can add one card from your deck that mentions Gold Sarcophagus of Light except Gold Sarcophagus of Light. If your opponent special summons a monster from the graveyard, you can discard a spell, target one of those monsters, send it to the graveyard. So, pretty cool effect there. And obviously, this is a retrained counterpart of Gold Sarcophagus, which was utilized in the Yami Yugi, Yugi Moto debut. Um, you know, when he was able to get Monster Reborn that he had previously banished, which negated... Yami Yugi's Monster Reborn and pretty much won him the duel. So this card is incredibly, incredibly symbolic and it's kind of depicting the sarcophagus lifting up and revealing Monster Reborn, which again was the moment that sealed Yugi Moto's victory. So a really, really cool artwork there. Up next, we have Turn Silence. Now, this card is kind of a counterplay of Turn Jump, which was a card that Yugi activated against Yami Bakura to avoid the damaging effect of Yami Bakura's Zoma the Spirit. Um, and you can actually see Zoma the Spirit's spirit form on this card. It's kind of hard to see, so I'll have Zoma up, um, but that's definitely what this card artwork is depicting, which is really, really cool. Yugi dodging the Zoma the Spirit, which is uh, which is awesome. So, really cool card here. Another spell that we are getting is Ties of the Friendship. You see Stronghold, the Hidden Fortress in the background of this card. You see pretty much all the new support we're getting here. We are getting um, the new Gandora, Silent Magician, Silent Swordsman, and the Mashi Marshmallow. So that pretty much all of the new cards surrounding this Gold Sarcophagus of Light series uh, is on this spell card, which is really cool. And if we had to link it to a card, it would certainly be Ties of the Brethren, which Yugi used in his duel against Atem. Ties of the Brethren also has a very similar special summoning effect, so that's definitely the reference that we're getting here. If you control Gold Sarcophagus of Light, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, but special summon up to two level four or lower monsters with different names from your hand or deck that mention Gold Sarcophagus of Light. Final spell we're getting, gotta give some Silent Magician love. Silence, Tor Towards the future, it's a quick play spell. Add one monster from your deck to your hand that mentions Gold Sarcophagus of Light. Then, if you activated this card during the battle phase while you controlled Gold Sarcophagus of Light and a monster that mentions it, each player draws until they have six cards in their hand, which is obviously a card of sanctity reference, which was such a crazy card <laughs> to see utilized in the anime. So that is really, really cool. And then the only trap we're getting in the final card from this bunch is Stronghold, the Hidden Fortress. Now this is a retrain of Stronghold, the Moving Fortress, which acts as a trap monster. So does this one. And Stronghold, the Moving Fortress actually shows red, green, and yellow gadget on the card in the fortress. This one just has the R, the G, and the Y to kind of differentiate itself. Very similar card, though. Special Summon, this card is an effect monster. Gains 1,000 attack for each card you control. That is Gold Sarcophagus of Light or a monster that mentions it. Once per turn, when an opponent's monster declares an attack and you control Gold Sarcophagus of Light, you can destroy that monster. So, that's a pretty good effect there. And, again, the only difference is the Stronghold, the Moving Fortress, I believe got 3,000 attack if red, yellow, and green gadget were all on your field. So at least this monster or this trap monster does not require you to um, have red, green, and yellow gadget individually on your field, which we know is a little tricky. So there you have it, guys. Those are all the cards we're getting in this Gold of Sarcophagus Light 
series, which is amazing. All with great references back to the battles that Yugi had at the end of Duel Monsters and to the cards that Yugi used throughout Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters, capping it off with a beautiful new Gandora on that pack cover. Let me know your thoughts on these cards. Let me know if you're excited to try them out. Let me know if you think they're any good and any thoughts you have on them down below in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day. Take care, guys. Wow.